<laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Mikey Ball Pit. Something funny just happened. I'm not going to tell you about it because you won't find it funny because it's one of those things where if you weren't here at that exact moment, it's not funny. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I don't have a huge amount of time to do like lure mods and customization. Now, does that mean that I don't want to do that stuff? Hell no, because lure mods, customizing stuff, it all gives you like more confidence to catch more fish and really kind of like own what you're throwing. You know, you can tweak it for like, we're up on Lake Gunnersville, um, Pickwick, uh, TVA, water's got like a greenish tint. So there's like a few like really kind of interesting colors that I like to use out here, but you can't always find them in every bait that you, you know, you're wanting to throw. So I don't have the time to like spray paint baits. I don't have the time to like do all this. I'd love to pour some jigs. Don't have time to do it but what i do have time to do is build custom jig skirts it's not a big thing but it's something that gives me a lot more confidence when it comes to fishing a jig and i can kind of tweak the colors so they match the like the forage the brim the shaft that's the other thing there's not many companies and you can't actually find them pre-made oftentimes that make like good shad skirts and stuff so basically what we're going to do today i picked up this this um kit basically for making jig skirts from tackle warehouse it has everything already put into it has a bunch of like colors and stuff we're going to review it take a look at it and i'm going to show you how to make your own jig skirt with it as well as show you kind of like my top secret color that i think any jig skirt unless you're fishing the muddiest dirtiest nastiest water any jig skirt needs this layer color in it so stay tuned i think you're gonna like this All right guys, let me start by showing you the kit. This is by Skirts Unlimited. Now, critique right off the bat, it comes in a really crappy box, like the lid falls off all the time, but it is kind of perfect for like setting in all the stuff that you need. You can see the lid's falling off, but you got your layer materials. It comes with a wide range of layer materials. I got the one that's like the jig one. I'll put a link to it at Tackle Warehouse, but there's a couple different versions. There's one that I think is like a spinnerbait version, has like lighter colors and stuff. But the jig version has some darker colors, and I will show you that skirt layer that I think every jig needs. But you have your collars, it comes with some rattles. The collars include like rattle holders, and then you have your skirt pass-through tool, which I'm gonna show you how to use when we actually make up a skirt here. It's a pretty cool setup though. Like I said, I don't have a ton of time to do customization on my lures. Um, so when it comes to something like this, it's pretty simple. It's about like a five minute process, like to make like you know six or seven of them. You can really, I mean, even you can, you can even do it on the water if you really wanted to, but it allows you just to kind of tweak your presentation just a little more than that next guy. And especially when it comes to like a jig presentation, they're seeing it quite a bit because you do fish it a little bit slower. So little things give you a little more confidence. I think it really makes a difference and it works. But I'll put a link to this thing down in the bottom of the Tucker Warehouse. Skirts Unlimited. I guess I guess I can show you the, the skirt material that I think is so awesome right off the bat. All right, guys, so I, I guess I'll let the secret out of the bag right off the bat. One of my favorite kind of under the line um, J-skirt like layer colors, it's Magic Craw. And dude, I will put that, here, let me get one out for you. We're gonna actually make a skirt with it, but I will put that Magic Craw layer in freaking like a bluegill jig, I'll put it in like a shad style like skirt for a spinnerbait or something along those lines. And just in my eyes, it has this natural kind of iridescent finish that that just occurs a lot in nature. And it does what I think is really cool about it is it changes. Oh dear, it changes depending on the light that you get. So in a sense, it's kind of like a dynamic skirt color. You see how it like blue, green, blue. You can even see it on the GoPro. That's kind of cool. But it has such a dynamic kind of look to it because when you see like those brim and you see like the, the minnows and all that kind of stuff in the water, it never looks like a static color. It's not like black or green or, or brown or anything like that. It has this sort of like trans transmissive or transitional kind of like color to it depending on how the light is, depending on how the color of the water, how they turn, how their bodies move. So that's why Magic Craw, if you're gonna be making any of these jigs, I'd highly recommend. There's a lot of different versions of it. I have like the straight Magic Craw. There's Magic Craw with like speckles. I got way too many actually. <laughs> so, well let's get to it and let's go ahead and let's make a skirt and show you how to make your own custom skirts with this uh, with this kit from Tackle Warehouse, all right? So you can see the kit right here. The things that we're gonna be using right now is the little pull through right here, the little nose cone. Um, and basically what we're gonna end up doing is you take one of these jokers, which is the collar. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take this tube thing 
and it has like a measuring thing on one side, you're gonna take this nose cone, and you can actually slide it into the tube. So you get it just like that. And then you're gonna take one of the skirt collars. Oops, <laughs> they're rubbery and they shoot all over the place. There it is. So you got the skirt collar, and you're gonna take that, that middle hole and just slide it onto that nose cone. It's almost like a wacky rig tool. And you just slide it until you get it onto the plastic. You see how it's on the plastic part right now? So we can take that nose cone off. So basically we got it on the plastic and what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna actually drop this skirt material through this tube and then slide it on. So let me show you how to do that. Now you can do as many skirt layers on, on a skirt that you want, like you can make it as bulky as you want. Personally, me, I, I like going with only three or four. I don't like huge skirts. I don't want a bunch of water displaced in it. The majority of the water that I'm fishing is, is semi-clear. So I want it to be kind of subtle. There's big fish, but it gets a lot of pressure. So I want it to be subtle. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna select your layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out, I'm gonna make actually one of my favorites. Um, it's kind of like a brim or a bluegill imitator. It's perfect for summer football jigs and fishing deep. So what you're gonna do, is I kind of just take my layers and I just lay them out like this. So you need to kind of plan what you want in the middle. So I want this magic craw in the middle of my skirt. I'm also gonna grab out kind of a, a gentle green pumpkin right here. You can see it right there. It's kind of got, uh, it's a green pumpkin with some speckle. And I'm gonna lay that on top of the magic craw right there. And then, actually, actually, you know what, we are gonna put a different color in the middle. Then I'm gonna get out a pumpkin. You can see it's just kind of like a standard kind of like pumpkin style. And I'm actually gonna make a sandwich. We'll call this the, the pumpkin peanut butter sandwich. And so I laid all these guys together just like that. You can see they're just kind of parallel, super simple, right? So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take our tube just like this and we are going to drop the hook through the tube you can see it right there. And we are going, it's almost like fishing for a skirt. The, the, the skirt material has spaces in it, obviously. And you're just gonna hang it just like that. And we're gonna draw it on through. Ta-da! And I don't really use like the measuring thing, but there's a measuring thing on there. But basically what I do is I just kind of figure about where I want the middle of my skirt to be. And like I said, a lot of these skirts are going to be finesse like style skirts, so I think I'm actually good right about there. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll that collar. Oops. There we go. Right off of there. And pull it on through. And you can adjust the collar a little bit once you got it on there. Um it's not the best tool in the world. There used to be this tool where you'd like turn it and open it and it was freaking awesome, but they don't make them anymore. So obviously not enough people bought them. So we got our skirt. It looks kind of screwy, doesn't it? But we got one more step we gotta do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a scissors and you see these tabs that are left over right there? You're just gonna take them and you're gonna cut them just like that. And same thing on the other side. Get them lined up. Yeah. Cut them. Et voila. Now, you guys see why I like this like jig skirt? Is that color not the freaking sickest color like ever? It's natural, it kind of has a shimmer to it. When you get it in the water, like the light changes, even like right now you can see how like the light changes it. That's badass, dude, badass. Now, there are rattle collars on here. This thing does come with rattles. And what you can do is you can add a rattle. It's kind of clunky but you add a rattle by dropping it through that hole right there. I'm not a big fan, dude. Um, I just don't, I don't like that. <laughs> it's not, it ain't Mikey style. So we are not gonna add a rattle and I'll show you what else we're gonna do. Those little rattle holders, I don't like those things either. So I'm going to just um, cut it off just like that and cut it off. Now, we're doing an honest critique, right? And we're telling you honestly about this kit. This kit is awesome. Everything like comes all in one. It's already all like in there. The collars kind of suck. They're kind of chintzy and rubber, like gooey rubber, like the stuff that kind of rots in a tackle box. 
So if I were you, I would get some like replacement collars, some better ones off of Tech Warehouse because that is like the, the crap end of the box. But comes with a huge amount of freaking layer material. You can see like all the different colors. And like, is that not sick? I can put that on any jig, whether it's a swim jig, a football jig, like any kind of jig that I want. And that, dude, I'm telling you, Mikey's custom. That's Mikey's custom bluegill right there. Anybody wanna buy my pack? <laughs> Go make yourself some, you'll love them. But it's a, it's a pretty cool deal. It'll get you like a starting kind of point with, with making skirts. Like you saw, it's a super quick process too. I don't have a lot of time to do customization with work and trying to do the videos and trying to shoot videos and all that. But dude, I, I love lure stuff as much as everybody else. Like it's one of the coolest parts. It's one of the things that draws all our money in like fishing, you know? Like we go buy these baits because we think they'll work. They have a little different look. They have a different pattern, a different movement. Well, this is one way that we can kind of like get in the mix and customize our own stuff. It's really reasonable. I think it's like 30 bucks to get the, the kit. Um, I bought extra layer material. Layer material is super cheap. It's like a few dollars per like different color pack. Um, and you can try some weird things. I'm gonna show you guys, it hasn't, I ordered it from Tech Warehouse, it hasn't come yet, but I do like these smoke kind of brown jigs. They, they're bad to the bone. But I'm gonna, we'll do some more of these. But check out this kit. If you guys are into customizing stuff and you wanna just get a start at it, you don't got a bunch of time, and you're looking for just one way you can customize your fishing lures, try customizing some of these jig skirts. It's a lot of fun. You can do a bunch of different colors. It just gives you kind of your own unique feel. You can use it on any kind of jig. And I think it's cool. Try Mikey's custom color too. It's a green pumpkin with um, some pepper in it, pumpkin, and then any version of Magic Crawl that you want. It's killer. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys got any questions about custom skirt making or anything like that, hit me up. I don't know everything. I'll put links to everything down in the, the description box um, to, at Tackle Warehouse. But hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you back out on the water. Maybe throw on some of these custom jig skirts, all right? Tight lines, guys.